Hello and welcome back to PCS Electronics Test Bench. Today we have a Magnum Energy MagnaSign Hybrid Inverter. Uh, this has a very unique feature of being able to do load support with um, supporting the shore power or a generator to give you more available current uh, for temporary loads and I'm going to hook it up and we've got some testing to do. This one came in uh, actually for repair but it still uh, runs well enough for me to show you what's going on. And um, I'm going to show you the main feature that the hybrid uh, was built for and I'll demonstrate that here on the bench. Um, otherwise it's like a standard Magnum uh, sine wave inverter. It has the same inputs, outputs, um, all the same control lines and so on. Same, uh, well, the one thing that is a little different, this one only has a single input, single output, um, single phase in, single phase out. Uh, the other Magnum inverters, you usually have a six position uh, strip here, and you'll have a neutral with uh, two line inputs and a neutral with two line outputs. So that's one major difference here. This is a 3000 watt, uh, the actual model number is a MSH3012M, so 3000 watt uh, hybrid inverter. So let's get this hooked up and we'll see what this hybrid function is. Okay, I've got the uh, hybrid unit connected on the test bench, but first let's take a quick tour of the inside. You have your power board. Uh, this is where the switching takes place for the actual inverter to switch from your 12 volt battery input to your AC output uh, through the transformer. You have the control board, which is where you have the microprocessor controlling all the functions of the inverter and driving the, the power board. Uh, since it's a sine wave unit, you have a filter board on the top here. Uh, underneath the filter board, there is an AC board, a little hard to see, but there's relays under here. A um, couple of relays, um, some transformers for measuring voltage and current and feeding that information to the processor, which is over here again. Um, and then on the side here, you have what uh, other Magnum inverters don't have and that is uh, another control board uh, for the hybrid function. So that's something you won't see on, on other Magnum units. Okay, so that's the inside. So next we're gonna get this thing powered up and I'll show you the function of the hybrid. Okay, so now we're set up to run in the hybrid mode. Now I'll show you the first thing we've got to check. Normally on Magnum inverters, uh, the, you have this button called shore power on your remote. And what that does is it will limit the amount that the battery charger will use in order to help you stay below, let's say that 30 amp level. Right now it's set for 30 amps. So if you have your motor home plugged into a 30 amp, power outlet, shore power outlet. Um, by setting this shore max to 30, when the charger kicks in to charge the batteries, uh, it will actually measure the, the power coming in, the, volt, the current coming in, and if it sees that it's starting to exceed 30 amps, it will actually throttle back the charger and be sure that it doesn't blow that breaker to, to try and charge those batteries. So this would be an, an instance where, um, you know, you're trying to charge the batteries, but at the same time you're running your air conditioning. Uh, by setting this to 30 amp max, uh, when the air conditioner kicks on, it'll throttle back the battery charger uh, until the air conditioning goes off, and then it'll bring the battery charger back up. So that's what that shore power, shore max setting is used for. Um, with the hybrid unit, it goes one step further than that. It does what they call load support. So right now, um, 
I have my AC coming in. This is the equivalent of a 30 amp shore power circuit. Uh, it's charging the batteries and the actual current coming in right now. I have my load box. Uh, let's see, each of these is 500, 1500. So I've got 2500 watts of light bulbs running in my load box. So I've got 2500 watts load on this. So the combined current for this 2500 watt load and the battery charger right now is pulling 22, 23 amps off of my shore power. So let's say this is a load that I have because I'm running air conditioners uh, or who knows what in your motorhome and, and, and you're pulling this 22, 23 amps from the shore power and now you want to use the microwave oven. So here's my microwave oven. So I'm going to go ahead and set that It'll be about 45 seconds. When I start this, you'll see my current, we're now over the 30 amp limit for 33 amps. We're still charging the batteries. You can see that because it's still a positive number. But we're at this limit of shore power of 30. So now the magnet says I'm going to go into load support and you see our current went down to 30. Our battery charger stopped working. We are now actually inverting. You see the negative. So we are actually using battery power to power the inverter to push more power into the load and bring that current down below that 30 amp limit that you set on your shore power. So this is intended for exactly this example. You've got your air conditioning running. It's using up most of your shore power with whatever else is running. You get up and you start your microwave and normally you would pop that 30 amp breaker out there on the pole. But with the hybrid inverter, the inverter temporarily kicks in, supports the extra load with more power, brings that current down below that 30 amp setting that you had on your remote. So that's what the hybrid does. Uh, and it will do it with shore power or with generator. And that can be nice uh, if you have a generator and you're running air conditioning and every time the, uh, the air conditioning kicks on and off, um, if it's really a strain on the, on the uh, generator to get the air conditioning to fire up, the, the hybrid can actually kick in load support and help to get that, that pump going again on the, on the air conditioning. And then once it runs and the current drops back down, then the hybrid uh, will go back to charging the batteries. So that's the main feature. I'm going to show you one more example. Uh, and in this one, we'll be setting. Well, first, I'm going to switch some of my load off here. Let's turn it all off for now. I'm going to set my shore power down. Okay, shore power down to 15 amps. So let's say you're visiting relatives, you've got your motorhome parked in their driveway, and you've got this thing plugged into a 15 amp outlet in their garage. Okay, so you're still charging your batteries um, with this plugged in, and you're running something that's taking up some power. So let's, let's turn on some load. There's 1,000 watts. And you can see I'm already at 10 amps with 1,000 watts. So 10 amps of AC power off that 15 amp outlet. OK, so that could be, oh, I don't know. You got your TVs running. Um, you got some other things plugged in. Uh, somebody's running a hair dryer. Uh, you know, I'm not sure what that would be. Ten, uh, 10 amps might be a hair dryer. Your wife's in there in the bathroom drying her hair. So um, you would decide again to get up and run this microwave and you're on this 15 amp outlet, but you've got it set to 15. So let's go ahead and try to run the microwave again. 
so we know it's going to go over there's 17 16 but look at that right back down it dropped down the reason it dropped down is because now we are in load support so if you look at the current the battery is now supplying 70 amps because the inverter has started up and the inverter is augmenting the shore power coming in and keeping the total from the shore below the 15 that we've set on our shore power max so this is the hybrid function and that way while this microwave is running uh, it won't pop that breaker when the microwave shuts off after it times out then the inverter will go back will shut off so let's go ahead and watch it because right now we're at 69 amps out of the batteries Okay, the microwave is about to shut off. Okay, microwave's done, and instantly we go back into the charge mode. Now we're charging the batteries at 41 amps, and we're still below our, our 15 amp pulling from the shore power. So the hybrid, it's just a way to uh, prevent nuisance tripping of your breaker give you a little more power when you need it um, you know good for if you have an air conditioner kicking on and off um, using the microwave that sort of thing so and it'll it'll support the load as long as you have the batteries you know to do it and then once the extra load goes away the charger kicks back on and you're ready to go again so there you have it, the functions of the MagnaSign hybrid inverter uh, put out by Magnum Sensata. Uh, Magnum, the company was Magnum Energy. They, they were acquired by, or they merged with Sensata Technologies. So uh, Magnum and Sensata are now one and the same if you want to look this up. Um, it's a nice feature and uh, just glad I could have one here on the test bench to make a video and show you guys how it works. Thanks for watching and see you at the, the next test session.